Welcome back, my dear Harry Arties, to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today, we're going to turn this painting that I did earlier into a beautiful drawing of a swan. So all that you need is a pencil, an eraser, a black pen, and some plain white paper. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you can download from the link here. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off super simply in pencil, just draw a line going across, just like that. Then we're going to draw a curved line, just up and round like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, just something like that, okay? And then from this left hand corner, we're going to draw a line, it's going to be like a wiggly line, going up and then round like that. And on the end of that line, we're going to add a circle. Remember, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. Okay, on the bottom of this circle, we're going to add the bill of the swan. So just a triangle shape like that. And then obviously the eye, there we go. And then we're going to add the tail. So just starting here, okay, we're gonna draw a line coming out and it's gonna come inwards and hit just there. Okay, now I'm swapping to pen, but please carry on in pencil. I'm just doing it in pen so that you can see it better. I'm gonna focus on the bill. So just draw a line coming down and then round. And then it comes up a little bit, just like that. Okay, then we have a little bump there and it goes inwards towards the eye. And then the lower part of the bill is going to go inwards towards the eye as well, just like that. I'm going to draw the eye a little bit bigger, just a little dot like that in black. Okay, now we're going to add some of the markings on the bill. So a line comes down a little bit like that. And then we're just going to colour this bit in. Okay, brilliant. Now on the lower side as well is a marking that just comes in and down, just like so. I'm going to make this black line on the lower half of the bill a little bit thicker. And then a tiny little black bit on the end of the bill, just like that. Okay, so we're going to carry on with the head. So go upwards and then we're going to do the lower half as well. So it comes down and round, just like that. Okay, now we're going to carry on the neck. The neck is going to come all the way down like this, round, out, and then joins in with the preparatory line. I'm going to do the, the top, sorry, the top of the head, follows this line round all the way around until it hits the body there. Now we're going to be drawing the body. So this comes up and all the way around. We just follow our preparatory line like we did before until we get to there. Now we're going to do the tail. So this comes slightly more upwards like this. A little kink in it there until we reach the bottom. And go along and then I'm just going to draw where the foot is tucked in just there just like that and then we're also going to do just a little bit of feather just down here and in now we're going to carry on this line all the way along all the way along until we get to there i don't know if you can hear the seagulls in the background every single time i draw a bird they seem to play up it's so weird it's as if they know okay so we're just going to draw some of the wings so one line there one line there and then a little bit more of the wings just upwards like this i'm sure you can hear them in the background they're going crazy it's like don't draw another bird to be fair i haven't actually drawn a seagull so maybe i should do that just to placate them anyway back to the drawing now we're going to draw the ripples in the water next so this is just basically lots of circles. So one starting like that, another one a little bit further apart, 
and then it gets closer together here. So it goes outwards and then gets closer together again. So closer together, really far away, then closer together again. Okay, and we'll do this on both sides. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to draw the reflection of the swan in the water. So I'm just going to do this by doing a lot of wiggly lines, just like that. Then we're going to draw another wiggly line, just like that. I'm going to draw like a blob and a longer blob because this is the reflection of the upper neck. It's going to come around this side now. It's going to be the head. And then another wiggly line there. Okay, more wiggly lines for the body. So wiggle, wiggle, go. And then another one here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Did you know, this is a random fact, that swans touch their beaks to kiss each other? It's so cute. There goes that seagull again. Also, they can fly up to 60 miles per hour. There we go, just some, a few more blobs here. There we go, going round. Just like this. There we go. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you've got some crazy seagulls that live on your roof as well. They're actually very cute, but they do make a lot of noise, as you can hear. It's one of the things about living near to the sea. Yeah. I do actually, it's really nice when you hear them because you think, oh, I'm by the sea again, but they can drive you mad sometimes. <laughs> anyway, let's just do a little bit thicker, darker line just down here. Just round here, just underneath the swan. Just round here. There we go. Get a bit darker, get a bit darker around here. Okay, now I'm going to erase all the pencil lines, but if you haven't done it in pen yet, go over it all in pen, then erase the pencil lines. So I've erased all the pencil lines now, and then I'm just going to add some shadow just on the underneath side of the neck just under here and I'm doing that by drawing lots of little lines all in the same direction make sure they're all in the same direction just like that now a few on this side again all in the same direction till you get to here and then on the underside here there we go okay a tiny little bit just up here just to give it some shape a little bit of a line there, a little bit of a line just down here. Just gonna add some more shadow. Make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Just like that. All the way down. All the way across like that. Like so. Okay, and then on the underside here. Did you know that baby swans, which are called cygnets, they stay with their parents until they're three or four years old, which is really cute. They only leave them when they go off to mate. Okay, so there we have it. Just add a little bit of shading down here to the water. There we go. So here's our finished swan drawing. Well done for getting this far. You've done super well. It looks just like the painting that I did in acrylic above. Do consider hitting subscribe and like. And if you've enjoyed this one, then check out, I've got a whole series of bird drawings just here. And not all of them are interrupted by seagulls, I promise you. <laughs> anyway, take care until the next one. Bye.